This video is going to show you how you can move between different worlds that were created. You can see one is for the actual, the actual game is the city world. Controls will show a some instructions or control menus and then there's a menu screen that he has. Depending on which screen you want to have starting, you will right click on these worlds and if I click new city, that would be the starting screen. So you might, as you create your new worlds, and you guys will create probably a beginning world, you change the startup screen or the startup world by right clicking over here under worlds and clicking new menu. This is the one that he wants to start as the menu. Let's go ahead and activate the game and just see how it gets played. Press enter. And then we have a scrolling screen, kind of like bloodstream. Now normally there's a menu that shows up that shows instructions. I'm going to die here so we can see the ending screen. You can see he's got a variety of different sounds. I'm going to try to get the instruction screen to run. And it's not popping up right now. I do not know why. Old habits die hard. That gives you an idea though of how this game is set up and how it is played and how it is switching between a couple of worlds. We're going to take a look at the code next. The beginning world that this student started with was the menu world. And if we look inside the menu world, he does have a private instance field for sound. He has his prepare method. He begins the new sound. And then in the prepare method, he creates a menu and adds that object. It's an S menu, which is one of his objects over here on the right hand side. And S menu is this screen. And it, it is nothing more than just the image. So if I right click and go to set image. And the reason that he does that, if you see, it's the mercy start screen. What he did there was he created a world. The world actually has, if you look over here, the checkered backgrounds, but he wanted to set his own image to that. So he created an actor called S menu, and then just placed this image that he created in that, in that uh, world. This is, these um, words here are not text as far as show text. He just created, it's actually just, the whole thing is just an image. If we were to look inside the project folder and look at all the, the different images that this student used, excuse me, that was sounds. So you can see all the different sounds that he's got that he used, borrowed from different projects. But you can also look at the different images that he used. And one of those is that start screen. If I get all the way down here so you can see that he just, he created that start screen. And then he just used that as a static image and then put the instructions in to hit enter. So what happens when you hit enter is that it opens up another world. And that's the part of the code that I wanted to take a look at here. And so in his act method, he's just waiting for us to press enter. When enter is hit, he stops the beginning sound and then he sets a new world. This is how you switch between worlds right here. So it's greenfoot.setworld new controls. That pulls up this second window. And I'm going to go ahead and um, show the image or just show that. And this is a screen that wasn't popping up. And I don't know why, I'll be honest, why um, there's a glitch somewhere. And so he had some controls. And then in the controls window, which is what he pulls up next, you can see that it's pretty much the same but he's waiting to hit enter again. And when you press enter, then a new city is opened. And the city is the last screen that you saw, which is the actual game. So he's got a menu screen that comes up that's supposed to load a control screen that currently is not working, but you get the idea by looking at the code and then the city. Remember, I want to start with the menu, so my my new menu here is the screen that we will start the game with, and that's the file that it will look for. So it will run this file first because that's the startup screen that I just set. 
I wish they would use instead of new menu I wish they would say something like startup screen or something like that but that's what that does over here when you right click so in order to open up a new world or to switch between worlds you use a set of code that's something like this. You have to have some decision statement. It doesn't have to be an enter statement, but you have to have some decision statement and then your action. And then this is the line of code right here that sets the new uh, class or the new world. And that gives you an idea of how you can switch between worlds. If you would like to take a look at this project a little bit more in class, I can make it available. Um, just let me know. I might actually go ahead and just include it. Just know that if I include this as an example, then you can you can borrow. I mean, you can borrow the concepts here. Like I, you can borrow this code, so to speak, to get yours going. But you'll have new worlds and you'll have different actors and such. So that gives you an idea of how to set up a project and how you can switch between different worlds. And it also shows you an idea of how many different actors you could actually create. I would actually probably discourage you from creating um, a lot. The student had a little bit more time uh, to work on his than what you guys have. But it gives you a real good idea of how to pull together some of those things. So good luck on your semester project and please ask if you have questions.